I think I'm going to start working on a checker table. We need something to do to pass the time without wasting energy. And I wish I had uh, chess pieces, but it's more work to build chess pieces, so checkers it is. I used the black charcoal for the black squares and then that real white fine ash for the white squares and made a bunch of pieces out of clay right now. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. The checkers look like little tiny cookies dipped in powdered sugar. Everything I do makes me think of food. Oh, double jumping. Oh, you're toast now. I mean, don't feel bad. I've never lost to checkers in my whole life. You guys like a checkers <laughs> prodigy? Why the hell is he on Naked and Afraid? Why isn't he like rich off checkers? <laughs> yes, I'm a millionaire checker player. <laughs> Did you hear that? Shh. Big, whatever it was. <laughs> we hear stuff and it's like walking all around the boma. Oh, they took off towards the water. Oh. All right, good, our height is still there. Not as stinky as it was when it was wet. Maybe we could rub some ashes on it to kind of take off the scent a little better. I didn't think about that. The ashes should neutralize the smell a bit and dry it out, make it feel a little better to work with at least. Are you ready to start shoe cobblering? Sure. This is going to be actually a lot of work cutting this stuff into shapes. I'm glad that Darvel can finally make some shoes. The whole time we've been here, that was his main goal, was to come across a carcass. Ow, damn. See, that's why I need shoes. It's gonna be hard following that outline with how thick this is. I wish we had like a pair of scissors. Man, it's so tough. It's happening, it's just a very slow process. Look at that. Foot burrito with the delicious carcass tortilla. Blech. I don't feel a thing. Ouch. This is uncomfortable. Oh, gosh. If I could have had these things since day one, I would have been a very happy camper. Level of comfortability is a two. This stuff is so hard now, it's not like leather. It's like hard, crunchy skin. I might as well just walk out barefoot because it's already like leaving red marks. <laughs> This stuff reminds me of like the texture of like a hard toenail. Nope. I've been lasting this full 21 days without shoes. I mean, it can't get any worse. <laughs> it is the night of the 20th day tonight. I'm so excited. We did it, we accomplished so much. I'm so proud of us. We've been an amazing team. We've helped each other, we've supported each other every day. Even though it's weird to be naked with somebody for 21 days that isn't your human, I still couldn't have imagined a better partner. Next time you'll be seeing us, it'll be at the end. So excited. We're leaving. We're leaving. Last time you ever have to open that door. I hate the damn Boma. It smells like pee and stinky people. And I'm just done with it. Like you could light a match to the Boma and I'd be like, bye, bitch. It feels nice to just leave all this stuff behind. Okay. Obviously, there's us here. There's our rock and our fig tree. Looks like there's a game trail right here we need to get on. There could be hippos and crocs in there. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to cross it a couple times. It's going to have to be really careful. And that game trail looks like it's pretty defined, so hopefully we can just cross the river and follow it right up to the extraction point. Let's grab our stuff and go. All right. I'm so excited to get out of here, but I am worried it's going to be a tough one. Just a couple days ago, Lindsay had a crazy dizzy spell where she fell on the ground and was incapacitated. It could definitely happen again. Heat stroke or heat exhaustion are definite possibilities during this extraction. Got your shoes. Yep. All right, let's get out of here. Hate you. Mm. 
Hasta la vista, Boma. I'm gonna miss that Boma like a malignant melanoma. <laughs> to reach their extraction point, Darvel and Lindsay face a grueling five-mile hike downriver through game trails covered with skin-piercing four-inch acacia thorns, all while keeping an eye out for leopards, rhinoceros, and elephants. They then have to navigate a narrow path near deeper waters infested with Nile crocodile and hippopotami. With powerful jaws and 20-inch long teeth, they are responsible for up to 3,000 deaths in Africa per year. Oh, there's a lot of hippo dung. Yeah, there is. We're gonna have to be careful. Just keep our eyes open. I'm a little bit nervous to go through this uncharted territory. I don't know what we're up against. You know, there's a lot of wild animals. My strategy is like, keep your head on a swivel and just go slow. Careful through here, lots of thorns right here. Okay. This bushy stuff, like leopards or God knows what can hide in this stuff. Yeah. Oh gosh. That's thorny. This looks like it's gonna be uncomfortable on our feet. Sure you don't wanna put on shoes, buddy? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful, some thorns over here. Yeah, I think I'll put on my shoes now. Good call. You know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna put my shoes on. You're not? You're barefoot in it, I'm barefoot in it. Buddy, you can wear your shoes. No, we're gonna go through this together. From the looks of this trail we're on, it looks like a proper game trail. Look at this, this looks like hippo droppings right here. Oh, it's like wet, wet. It's very fresh. That's a little nerve wracking. There are definitely hippos and other beasts around. The proof is in the pudding. I'm like stepping in the pudding nonstop. Something could have eyes on you and you wouldn't even know. Definitely keep hearing some rustling around a game up ahead. You better be careful. There's a lot of thick reeds and stuff over yeah. here. Yeah. Could be a hippo nervous. in there. It smells like hippo. If you could, if I could put a smell on a hippo. Smells like hippo right now. Did you hear something? Yeah. Whoa. I bet you this is where the hippos and crocs and stuff are on the map. Yeah. Walking along this river makes me nervous. Yeah, great, great spot for a croc ambush. The quicker we're out of here, the better. My gosh, I didn't think we'd be rock climbing. Ugh. Okay, give me like one minute. I just need to like rest for a second. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna pass out again. Just a couple deep breaths. I'm like, listen, body. Shut up. At the end of this hike, you have your family. Like, I will drag myself by my nails to the extraction point. Okay. I think this looks like a good crossing point. Yeah, this is it. This is not going to be super easy, I don't think. So we kind of walk along these rocks here, and then it doesn't look very deep right there. There we go. Crossing the river is like walking on ice. The algae that grows on the rocks is so slick. Are these rocks right here deep that you're on right now? That's all looks pretty deep to me. Oh, Damn! You all right? Poor toe. That river crossing sucked. My butt hurts. My butt's burning. It's gotta be close. Look how the landscape's flattened out. I bet you there's a road close by. Freaking better be. You're smelling something weird. Maybe there's an animal around. 
Parker, do you hear a car? Oh. Dude, there's a Jeep! What there's the a heck? freaking truck! <laughs> We're getting freaking rescued! Finally. This truck isn't going anywhere without me. Woo! We made it! Yeah. High five. We freaking did it, dude.